Hi, my name is Shira Rubinoff. I'm here with Joe Cropper, Chief Architect, Power Systems Hybrid Cloud, IBM Master Inventor. Joe, pleasure speaking with you today. Great to be here, Shira. Excellent. So Joe, given where the industry is today, why should customers consider a hybrid cloud model for the AIX, IBM I, and Linux application? Yeah, you know, it's a really exciting time in the industry. And at the end of the day, Shira, it's really all about you know, accelerating time to value and making our developers in the ecosystem more productive. You know, it's, it's the developers, it's the IT operators, it's the QA engineers, it's really everybody. And basically we're trying to put the right technologies out there to make people more productive. And at the end of the day, it's all about increasing business agility and basically giving people the ability to deploy their applications where they want and when they want. The other thing I wanted to highlight is, is that there are so many um, advances that have been made in the industry with respect to cloud management platforms. So how do people actually deploy and operate these, these you know, next generation of applications, whether that's on-prem in their data center, or maybe in a public cloud provider, or in fact, multiple public cloud providers. Sure. And that's in fact what, what we're seeing many of our power systems clients looking to do. And we've got great technologies from IBM and Red Hat that actually give those uh, you know, degrees of freedom to our clients to give them that hybrid ability and ultimately to accelerate their journey to cloud. I have to say, in having quite a few discussions with you folks over here, the main theme I'm hearing is flexibility also. So that's very exciting to hear that it's really carried through. And Absolutely. given the Yeah. <laughs> and given those tremendous benefits for leveraging hybrid cloud for existing enterprise apps. Can you please describe how clients can start modernizing their apps safely and methodically to leverage new technologies like containers and Kubernetes? Yeah, that's a great question. It's something that we get uh, approached with all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, as clients are looking at this new approach of building the next generation of applications using these new technologies, it's a completely different paradigm in terms of how do you build these applications? How do you deploy them? How do you manage them? And so people are really looking for, as you said, a safe and methodical way uh, to do that. And we've actually developed some really unique um, uh, approaches. We, we call it incremental modernization. Mm -hmm. So we want our AIX and IBM I clients to keep running those same applications on the same hardware platforms that they're running today. And then they can adjacent to that on the same infrastructure. They can actually run uh, OpenShift and these new cloud native apps side by side. And so what that empowers people to do is take those system uh, critical applications and not change them right away. They can get used to building new applications using these new tools and processes and then start marrying those things together. And the benefits we see there is that it's that incremental approach that really allows clients to move at their own rate and pace on the same platform. And they can do that again on-prem or they can even do it in, uh, in public cloud models. So it really does reduce that risk because We've been approached by so many customers where, in fact, Shira, they're told, hey, you know, you need to potentially move this and do it big, a one big false swoop uh, migration. And people get lost in that. There's just so much going on. And so we have this, you know, very incremental approach to doing so uh, that, that just provides all of those flexibilities and freedoms. Uh, it makes it safe and approachable for our clients. And it's all built on top of Red Hat OpenShift, which is the, of course, the industry-leading, enterprise-ready container platform of the future. I think that's also really important because the way that technologies have been, sometimes it feels somewhat disjointed when, okay, this is what you can do now, but there's a few steps to get to there. I love the fact how it's you're, you could use your existing way that you do things and, hey, there's more that you can do. So that's very important, and I really like what you're doing. I think that's the way that people operate. And when you work the way that people operate, it tends to go much smoother, faster, quicker, and you're getting the results that you're looking for. So that's great. And can, you know, as an enterprise, can you explore OpenShift, as you mentioned in further detail, how they can accelerate their digital experience with Red Hat OpenShift, IBM Cloud Packs, and open source software packs on power systems? Yeah, I mean, that's another great question. Because, <laughs> it, well, yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And in fact, you know, the, the way I like to think about these Kubernetes platforms or OpenShift is it's, it's sort of like, you know, we all probably remember the first time we got a cell phone back in the, 
you know, mid to late nineties. And it was, I don't recall. You know, I'm too young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. But it was like, right. What did you do with the cell phone? Right. You made calls and once in a while, then you started getting text messages. Okay. And if you think about today, how we use our phones, it's a platform with all of these okay. other applications where you can be out on LinkedIn and Twitter and, you know, who knows what, and, and basically OpenShift provides that similar platform for the enterprise. It's all about the applications and what is the value you can run on top of that platform. It's not so much about the platform itself. Exactly. And, and so, so with, a, with our IBM power systems, we've been investing heavily where our clients have a huge uh, ecosystem of open source technology. If you think about all of the popular modern day programming languages like Node.js or Python or Ruby or again, Golang, the list goes on and on. We have all of these technologies here are enabled for our clients so that they can go out and start creating and leveraging open source technology, all those innovations. There's a huge array of then commercial software as well. I mean, of course, you know, as our enterprises are looking to, um, you know, move their businesses to the next chapter, of course, they want to make sure they have a, a strong selection of enterprise middleware and so we've taken the entire IBM portfolio and Red Hat portfolio of, of enterprise software, containerized it, put those in IBM cloud packs, and have made those available on power systems as well. And then last but certainly not least is a very strong ISV ecosystem. So as people are looking for other third-party software vendors, all of that software has been enabled for the platform. So you have a really great hardware platform. You've got great operating systems. Then you've got OpenShift and then a huge ecosystem of software that can run on top of it. And it's just, it's just a recipe for, um, you know, again, going back to what we first talked about at the onset, accelerating that delivery and giving an end-to-end -end experience across clients' entire hybrid cloud landscape. So that's what we're, we're just really excited about this. Well, I love these things. I can almost uh, summarize it. it. Easy use, flexibility, access. You're really putting that all together in such a perfect package for your clients to use and to create, to store, to be secure, literally across all platforms. So I think those are highly regarded across industry. So that's very important to where you're residing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I'll just, you know, the, the other key thing throughout all of that year is that there's just the tremendous benefits that our power platform has provided, you know, with all of the, yeah, yeah. you know, increased container density and, and security, platform security benefits. So all of those things, you know, the, the, that people have loved power systems about in the past, those same themes carry forward into the future. And uh, like I said, we just couldn't be more excited about where the platform is going and all of the innovation on what it's enabling for our clients. Well, terrific, Joe. Thank you so much for sharing with our audience today. I'm sure that you gave them a lot to think about, as well as to discover more about what's going on here with IBM and Red Hat together as uh, the perfect couple. So uh, thank you for your time, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Yeah, thanks a lot, Shira. Appreciate it. Thank you.